Welcome to Pacific Tech's demo highlighting our Audit Logger module for Sage 300. With a suite of Sage 300 add-on modules, web-based connected services, mobile applications and global private cloud hosting solutions, Pacific Tech extends Sage 300 with Tier 1 capability. Audit Logger runs in the background monitoring what the users are doing in relation to Sage 300 views. Audit Logger captures data before and after and captures user ID with Windows account and IP addresses. It includes the date and time as well. It's easy to configure because it sits inside Sage 300. Let's take a look at a live demonstration. Audit Logger resides inside of the admin services. Simply select Setup to take a look at your options available. Here you can see the Sage 300 modules where you have access to control what you would like to audit in regards to views. For example, in Accounts Payable, we have AP Vendor, AP Transactions, AP Setup, and AP Periodic Processing. Let's take a look at AP Vendors to see how it works. In this scenario, we have Vendors, Vendor Groups, Remit to Locations, Recurring Payables, Recurring Payable Details. Let's take a closer look at vendors. Here you can see in the setup screen we have active and inactive status. Directly below we have audit level, none, low, high or custom. These are preset configurations. We do not recommend high and recommend you set to low or pick low and select some custom additions. Auditing has impacts in two ways. First is the performance on the system. In low, it has a minimal impact of 2 to 3 percent over key fields. Second is the amount of data that it captures. At this point, you can select purge by unlimited, number of day history, or number of transaction history. Now, you can review the fields below and simply select the ones that you would like to have audited. Once saved, you can see at the top you now have a custom audit level. You are also able to audit optional fields. Tick Trigger Audit on Defined Fields to select the required fields. Now we will do a demonstration on creation of new vendor, changing the vendor record, and then deleting it. Once I'm done with this, we'll go to the inquiry screen to see how that looks for the audit log. Select the audit log inquiry screen, enter the from date, to date for the period that you would like to audit. From there, select Filter Users. This way you can audit a particular user or all users. After that, select Filter Views and take a look at the various Sage 300 views that you would like to audit. You can select All or you can select a particular view like Accounts Payable. Next, you can select Show Updates, Show Interactions, Show Deletions, and show processes. Now click on the find arrow. In this case we have 17 records because in this scenario I not only changed the vendor record I also made some changes to a batch general ledger entry and I changed audit logger views all of which will be captured in the audit. Here you can see the results of the audit logger search for this particular day. On the left hand side you'll see that it has an audit log sequence number for each transaction that's been logged. It's like an audit stamp ensuring that nobody can delete a transaction from the database and you're able to see that the sequence is as it should be. Let's have a look at a transaction. Here you can see that this particular audit log shows the user IP, their name, the sequence number, and it shows that we created a new vendor as the old value with the address line showing 123 Smith Street and the new value 555 Jones Street. This audit log transaction shows when we deleted the vendor. You can see on the right hand side the operation is delete. When we open it for details you can see the IP address, the user, the audit log sequence number, and the old information being all the vendor details and the new information being none because it was removed. Let's take a look at another transaction. Here you can see Audit Logger did a self audit with the IP address of the user, their name, the sequence number, 
and that the audit level was changed from custom to low. Let's take a look at a journal entry change. Again, you can see the IP address, the username, audit log sequence number, and also you can see on the new side all the changes that took effect. Let's take a look at a batch change. Here, again, you can see the IP address, the username, the sequence number. It is for batch 198, and you can see the old value, and in this case, you can see a debit of $100 and a credit of $100 inserted as the new value. Let's have a look at the audit log report. The same as with the audit log inquiry, select your from date and your to date. In this case, I've entered the same date. You can select your users that you're going to filter. You can select the views that you want to filter. You can filter your views by selecting all or deselecting and then just selecting a particular view like AP. You can also show updates, insertions, deletions, processes, and show changed fields only. Now you can select export if you'd like to save it on your computer as an Excel file. Or you can select print to review it as a printed document. The document shows the same detail. The audit date, the user, the IP address, the audit sequence number, the field that was affected, and the old information along with the new information. Let's have a look at purge data. Depending on your company policies, you may consider to purge it annually. Here you can use per view purge setting or purge all transactions through a specific date, which could be a year end. Audit logger can be used to run across multiple companies. Setting up users to have authority to manage and edit audit logger is quite simple. Go to administrative services, Go to user authorizations, select your user, and then click all beside audit logger. That ends our audit logger demo. Here are some other modules that you may be interested in. Payables workflow, purchasing workflow, PWweb, vendor catalogs, workflow documents, commitment accounting, funds availability, workflow notifications, advanced stock take, audit logger, which we just did our demo on, internal issues and key communications. A number of these modules work together towards our AP automation suite, as well as our complete procure to pay suite. For more details, please contact us. Thank you for your time today.